Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I am on the public test server to have an early look at the Drill Fist. So the Drill Fist is a reward from Rage. You can either get it as the weapon or as the plan. And it does have a predetermined set of legendary effects and they cannot be changed. The plan is not tradable, but the weapon is. And it has one mod on it and that is the Ultrasight Bits, which I have applied on this. That's what actually gives it the color, uh, the green color on the bits. If it wasn't, uh, if I didn't have that mod on it, it would actually just be just kind of a rusted metal color, just like everything else. Legendary effects are anti-armor with limb damage plus three strength. And we have a fourth star when dealing damage, a 50% chance to not use AP, a 10% chance for auto melee weapons. And it, it applies fire and bleed dot on contact. So it has uh, ballistic damage, bleed damage, and fire damage by default. The poison damage actually comes from the ultrasight bits, that damage over time. So on hit, we're gonna do uh, ballistic damage, and then we have three different effects that are damage over time. So this does a lot of different things. This is an unarmed weapon, so we do use Iron Fist. And I also use Hack and Slash because I do like to use it in VATs, and those extra explosions, those area effect damages are pretty nice. So we've got Twisted Muscles, which adds extra melee damage. And of course we have Deathclaw Wellington for extra strength and Tasty Mutant Hound Stew for extra melee damage. That makes a massive difference in how much damage you'll actually do. Now I've played around with this a little bit and it's actually pretty strong. Uh, the effects, you know, other than plus three strength, I think I would have picked all different effects for this, but it's still, it does pretty well. And most enemies like this, it will do a, a one point situation and I'm playing full health, right? So if you're playing low health, where you can get uh, your strength up really high with unyielding armor, you could do even more damage. But you could see, now we're only getting two two effects. You know, we're getting the fire and the bleed. We're not getting the poison damage because, uh, yeah, these are robots. They can't do poison. And oh, I also have thorn armor as well. So I'm getting a little bit of bleed damage from the thorn armor. Let's see if we can find this robot before he finds us and uh, see what that does. But you can see, yeah, now that this fight takes a little longer, you can actually see under his health bar, we're getting two different damage over time effects uh, against the against him. But I do think it's kind of a shame because this is a, I mean, someone went to a lot of work to create, you know, a cool new weapon and then to saddle it with the effects that it has. I just think that probably, like a lot of these, I think probably people aren't going to use this. Uh, it would be my guess. They'll look at the effects and they won't even, you know, because a lot of people will just look at the effects and they wouldn't even give it a chance. Uh, it is very strong, as you can see, uh, if you're playing low health, would be even stronger. But uh, yeah, those damage over... <laughs> so much damage over time is uh, pretty cool. You can just basically just run around hitting things and uh, and then run it away without having to wait to see if it, uh, if it finishes it off. Well, okay. But a lot of times, I mean, it does have a lot of ballistic damage, so a lot of the hits will just kill things right out of the gate, and then the damage over time isn't going to matter a whole lot. And... Just like a lot of weapons, if you actually make contact with the enemy, it does more damage than when you miss. Yep, that's a one punch as well. I actually think because of the way the legendary crafting system is now, where we can kind of, where we can, you know, you can pick and choose the effects you want on things, that I, I do think it actually matters a whole lot more uh, to start off, if you have something like this where the effects can't be changed, to start off with actually just better effects, especially this, because you can't... Uh, it, you can't get any other, other version of a Drill Fist. This is the only version that exists. I mean, at least with, uh, say, Swyhander, that's another unique weapon that has, you know, predetermined effects you can't change, but those are actually really good effects. Plus, it hits harder than, you know, almost anything else. But with a weapon like this, there's a lot of good gauntlet, you know, unarmed type weapons, and yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, this could be one of those ones, unless someone just wants the cool look, they're probably not even gonna try this out at all. Um, plus the fact that melee is just, you know, less popular than other, you know, than ranged attacks for uh, most players. But if you want something that uh, looks... Oops. <laughs> See, it is really strong. I mean, that is the thing. So even though the effects on it are kind of not what you probably want, you're still one-hitting a lot of things. And even though the mod is called Ultrasight Bits, it does not do extra damage. It's not like a prime receiver on a gun. It doesn't give you bonus damage against uh, Scorch or Scorch Beast, nothing like that. So it's just, it just adds a little bit of poison damage. Uh, poison damage over time. That's that's all that it does for you. Oh, okay. Stagger, stagger. Oh, there you are. Kind of lost track of him there for a second. And uh, you can see he's susceptible to all the different uh, damage over time. The thing about having a lot of damage over time on something like this is it's probably, 
that's generally not how you would play melee, right? You would tend to just keep kind of swinging away until the thing you're attacking is dead. So I don't I don't know about uh, about having so much damage over time. However, this does have a lot of ballistic just right out of the gate. So took me a while to throw that grenade. They have remapped the controls for controller again. And uh, yeah, the power attack grenade mechanic is a little bugged at the moment and uh, kept trying to throw a grenade and it kept power attacking on me. And then when I tried to power attack, it would throw grenades. So yeah, things are a little, a little, a little wonky at the moment. Ah, okay. She hits very hard, but uh, I can see the damn. I do like the health bars, you know, the, uh, you know, the new, uh, the triangle parts underneath that showing all the different, oh, the bleed. Okay, so the poison kicked in eventually, but not, okay. Yeah, I like showing all the different ways that we're affecting the enemy. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let's do some bats here and see if we can get hack and slash to trigger. One more hit should do it. And there you have it, an early look at the Drill Fist. Legendary effects aren't necessarily what I would like to have. Hopefully we'll get a second look at them. Maybe they could change. Uh, we do still have a bit of time. This should be with the December update. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.